There we go. <laughs> oh, it's bright. I might need sunglasses. Is it too God, bright? my glasses dirty. <laughs> Could I have one of those wipey things for my glasses? <laughs> I got, like, fingerprints. I'm going blind, I think. And then I'm not. <laughs> Stage hands. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I got smudges. Anyway, this is podcast 77. Yeah, come a little closer. 77, 78. 77. 77. Yes. Because we've been going live. Right, like in the store mm -hmm. on Instagram. And then we're on there for like 20 minutes and then we're like, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we, got, we haven't been doing our podcast. Yeah, we haven't, but. People, like, but people were asking. We right. were saying last week that we just like going live on Instagram. Right, and they like the podcast because they could watch it at their leisure. Right. Oh, I said that really nice, didn't <laughs> But um, anyway, I'm Do You Knit. Hi Karen. from Virginia, somebody said. Oh, hi. How do you see this? Yeah, hi from New Jersey. Hi from Jersey. I'm Alana. That's Alana. And Karen is here. Mm -hmm. And we have yarn behind us. Yarn behind and yarn in front of us to show you. Yeah, and we have some fun stuff. Um, It's all about the whips, I think, today. Hi, Season. Hey, Season, aren't you in school? What are you she doing? says, I'm on a break. She's on a break. Anyway, um, it's all about the whips. I do have a lot of whips. I don't know. Do you have it? Yeah, I brought a whip. Mm, she brought a whip. She was winding <laughs> yarn. She brought one whip because you're a monogamous. No, no well, I not. was. And now I have been really going off the deep end with the whips. Me too. So now I'm trying to finish some whips so mm -hmm. I can start some new whips. Right. Whips is work in progress. In right. case anybody needs Hashtag to know, it. it's whips. whip is W I P, work in progress. It's mm -hmm. the project that you have not yet finished. I have a few of those going on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just waiting for like that Rhinebeck sweater call out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's Around usually in May. In May. May. Oh, I'm on it. You have no idea. Are you going to be it. a test knitter? Oh, I'm going to ask again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Usually it's Magpie and Spin Cycle every year. I think. I hope. I don't so. know. I ordered the new Magpie. Yeah, the, the new, cashmere. The new so? cashmere. Um. They I said like six that. weeks. Okay. So I bought 17 colors. Do you think that's enough? <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot to talk about. Um, we're going to talk about the yarn crawl, right? Yes. We're going to talk about our special guests coming. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be fun. Last year they had the yarn crawl. It's called the New Jersey Wool Walk. So they also have a website that you can go on and look at all the stores participating. And um, it's a week long, okay? Um, last year they had it. Did they have it in the early fall? I, I'm thinking. We didn't do it last year. I didn't want to participate because we weren't open. A lot of stores were doing lives. And I'm like, you know what? We were doing live every day. And I was like, no, I, I just don't want people in. The store wasn't open. We couldn't take a chance. Um, and now there's 20 stores in New Jersey. I have no idea. I don't know. I guess I'm off the radar. Just doing my own thing. But there are 20 stores. They just keep opening up, I guess. Um, I could be the oldie but the goodie here. I'm thinking <laughs> I am. I'm the oldie but the goodie here. I must be. <laughs> or wool bearers. Wool bearers and I are probably the oldest well, I'm speaking for myself, but the oldest people on the yarn crawl. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing the yarn crawl since I opened in Hoboken. Okay. And what that consisted of, those were the people that were running the New York yarn crawl, New York City. When I opened in Hoboken, I reached out to them and they were doing it the following spring and they didn't include Hoboken or that's, you know, that east, you know, close to New York City. And I said, can I be part of it? And they were like, Yes. So I've been doing yarn crawl since 2012. Um, and that was like a long weekend. That was Thursday to Sunday. Um, so I've been doing it that long. And we are going to be, I have other stuff to talk about. We'll talk about that later. But um, anyway, so we can talk about what we're having for the yarn crawl, mm -hmm. right? Um, on Saturday, April 23rd. Okay. Oh, the passes are $6. Okay. And then there's also a ruler. Right? Yeah. Very so cute. for $11, okay. you can get the pass and the Katrinkle ruler. And we also have stitch markers. So if you spend $25 or more, you get the stitch marker for free. And if you don't, the stitch marker is $250. So we have those at the front desk. Okay. And some people wonder what why it's six dollars. Like mm -hmm. what is what are you paying for? And right. it's um you get entered into a, a dollar. Raffle, right. So and also a dollar passport. out of this goes to um the food bank of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And 
um, Debbie, who works for us, works at the food bank. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and that, that's kind of fun. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should do like a, a basket of canned goods or something. I don't know. Oh, like a drop-off? I'm thinking we should do something. Maybe something for Ukraine. Maybe we could think about something to do. You know, or even we could figure out where around here. I do have a lot of um, brand new baby clothes with tags on them in my house when Marissa was staying with us with for Huddy. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe there's some place in town here in Westfield or maybe we could think. We yeah. could look it up. Um, and maybe we could do something for Ukraine. Maybe put a big basket out here. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe drop off clothes or something. Maybe we can, you know, we'll have to talk about that. Yeah. Um, we could look in Westfield and then I could drop it. But um, anyway, I'm getting off the subject. Okay. Um, so April 23rd, we're having a Lobby and Amy trunk show here. Wow. Um, I'm having Merino Sport, Mohair, and I think it's the singles. So three different bases here. Um, those will be out. Also, we are having Moss Fibers. I think, is she from Virginia? I don't, she's not from the area. So Moss Fibers reached out to us. She's got some great stuff. Um, so she's going to be here the 23rd and the 24th, Saturday and Sunday. That's exciting. Um, we are also releasing our Spin Cycle, my unicorn. Only in person. Only in person, shopping that whole week. We'll go live through the store and show you what's going on. We'll introduce you to Moondrake. Yep. Um, and Moondrake is going to be here Tuesday and Wednesday, and she's staying at my house. Oh, that's so fun. Wait, so I'm thinking we need to do something like Monday. I don't know what time she's coming. Maybe we could do like... A knitting in my house. Or oh, something. that would be so fun. Get like food, like pizzas and you oh, know. Oh my goodness. So I have to find out her her flight info. So we just have to find that out. Yeah. That so would she's be staying great. at my house. Well, we could do it like Tuesday night. I don't know. Unless we'll be just be so tired. Um. Anyway. So and then she's bringing. She's shipping some new stuff. We're gonna have an MCN. We're gonna have Surrey, and we're gonna have a silk base trunk nice. showing. And you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna wind up keeping it. Yeah. And we'll just have to put it on the Moondrake wall. Yeah, you'll just keep what's left over. Um, so that's going to be fun. And then the week is just what's going on, you know. Um, there's also going to be lots of raffles. We're going to do a big in-store raffle. And then they have a lot of participating companies. And we're all getting a drop-off of 20 different things from 20 different companies. So we could do ra daily raffles, oh. which will be fun. I think I need to get more raffle tickets or something. Okay. So um, I'm not going to make baskets. I'm just going to get those cellophane bags and just yeah, tie them just up. wrap them nice. Is, you know, so Amazon. 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 Anyway, um, so that's the information. And will there be sales that week? Yes. You have to put a certain yarn 20% off. So I'm thinking that we might move something at this Worcester area. And I have some other stuff that's in um, sealed bins and stuff that we move around. And if it, you know, so we're going to have an area of 20% off. Nice. So um, there's a lot of prep. Not a lot of prep work, I don't think. You know, I don't. It's just going to be fun. We haven't had it in so long. Um, we are not requiring masks as of now. And it's also up on their website. We're not requiring masks. By the way, I had my second booster. I want four shots to the wind. Yeah, so you're safe. So I'm safe. I don't know how safe, but... But if yeah. you're not feeling well, stay home. Stay like, home. And if come. you have a fever, like don't bring your really. children. You know, I mean, like if, if they're, they're not feel, feeling well, yeah, your we kids. Yeah, we welcome kids usually, we but welcome if they're kids, sick, don't And if bring your them. kid has a runny nose, we don't want to bring anything, you know, catch anything to another person in here. Yeah, like that's know. always, right? right? Like that's so all So that's the like time. even going back to school. Yes, <laughs> bring your children if they're healthy and they're well. Yes. Um, if you want to wear a mask, go right ahead. Yeah. I'm not wearing a mask. But if you start coughing, I might pop my mask on. But don't cough here. Don't cough Don't here. come with symptoms. Don't come with symptoms, please. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I think that's good, right? Yeah, I think Did we went through Anybody it. have any questions? We have Olga coming. Mm. We have some classes coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, Olga Jazzy, Olga Baraya Kafelian is coming uh, May uh, 13th, right, mm -hmm. is the meet and greet on right. Friday evening. Mm -hmm. um, and then the Saturday, she's. she's going to be teaching two classes, classes. for us. Mm -hmm. So the one class is the Aranami and Asanagi shawl. <laughs> and You're so good, I can't say those. <laughs> <laughs> and those are modular knitting. Oh um, and God. I brought my Aranami shawl to show today Look how that pretty. I knit. And that pattern is 10 years old now. I and can't. it's a Wish classic. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so I knit it. 
Do you remember what you used? I, yes, it was okay. my friend's hand spun. So oh, unfortunately, you can't. Spun. You can get use spin this, cycle, but it's it's like spin cycle. Beautiful. Yes. So you could pick um, even. I think Dead Reckoning kind of looks like this colorway. Mm -hmm. And then just throw some sport weights in with it. Yes. It could be kind of fun. Or some people do it as a fade. Mm -hmm. So you pick one color for this. And then just fade down. One, and it makes it look like waves. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's the Aranami shawl. I made mine kind of smaller than the pattern because I didn't do the last. Did you test then or you just knit it no the, it, was, it wasn't really a thing test, test knits like i don't know no, okay. people weren't they were like tech editing but not really test knitting right because okay. instagram wasn't really the biggest thing at that time no it wasn't like instagram. people had it but it wasn't used it to just promote started that, like instagram like i think 2012 so yes yeah. So Aranami, oh, Aranami, I made one with Noro. Misa said, yeah, yeah. so we're going to be right. having a class with a designer. Oh. Olga mm -hmm. is going to be here teaching. And there's, um, it's a simple beginner knit, but it's right. a lot of techniques because you right. have to pick up. Mm -hmm. There's uh, decreases. So mm -hmm. that's a cool shawl. It's a really cool, cool shawl. shawl. And then the other class she's going to be teaching is 3D knitwear. So that is the plus shawl that Karen is testing. Well, no, she's doing the U. And I? the UI. It, well, okay. it's the techniques to make right. any of those 3D you ready? stitches. Okay. But so go. if you want to make the plus shawl, you could take that class and learn the technique. The pattern came out today, so mm -hmm. we made kits for it. We have kits it. for it. Uh -huh. And I'm addicted to this. It's I'm so still nice. nowhere near, near halfway knitting it. It's so fun. Maybe I am, you know, but um, it's just going to just keep coming. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Yeah. And lo go look at the other testers' designs, the the colors that they chose. Right. So if you go to the hashtag plus shawl on Instagram, and then you can see some people used all different colors. Like they, you know, some of the people use, like I use my unicorn for my pluses. Other people and her used her, um, was in my brain. My brain is spin fried. cycle. Spin cycle for the background. Yeah. You know, and then do your pluses as a solid. But you can do whatever you want, and I think that's what makes it fun. Absolutely. But I love how this is changing. Here, I'll it, hold it up close so right? people could see it. Look. Yeah. This is this crazy? I love it. It's so good. It's and so this beautiful. is unicorn that was very purple. Um, thank you, Meebles. <laughs> Shout out Meebles. <laughs> Shout out Meebles. She's the one who dies, dies. in cycle. Mostly. For a us. lot the of pink us. Ones. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the other dyers there, but that's what happens, you know? Um, so what else? What else is going on? And what are you wearing, Alana? Well, thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you asked. I'm wearing the yesteryear sweater. Mm -hmm. We had a knit along for this pattern. Right. So and pretty. the yarn that I used is Hedgehog Tweety. Mm -hmm. And this yarn is so fun. It's a recycled yarn. So the base yarn is just the natural color of the wool. And then Hedgehog took all of their ties from the when they dye yarn, they cut the ties off. Right. And then they had it spun into the yarn. Mm -hmm. So in the yarn is all the little hand dyed blips of color from Hedgehog Fibers. And this is by Max the Knitter. And that's the pattern that I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. so and it's I in used... this book. And I think we have like five copies. Yep. Of this book. So, left. if you still want to make your yesteryears, you can you get can. the beautiful. It's a beautiful book. There's so many good patterns yeah, in really here. Yeah, really good. Andrea Mowry, her Andrea sweater cardigan is in there. Be it's fun classics. In this. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, I use the Tweety Noir for my yoke and the mm -hmm. Tweety for my base color. Right. That's really good. I, I love, love it. the sweater. And yours are so different. Like yours look a little more muted, but then all of a sudden you see a pop of orange. Mine is the original batch right. that we got, like how your cardigan is that you somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere under that's also. Us. So that's yeah. it was like an older batch. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. What else is going on? Anybody want to ask us anything before we jump into another uh segment, which we can do. Um and talk about what you're wearing. Okay, so what am I wearing? I am wearing the metamorphic sweater. And I used Unicorn and Guns N' Roses Versus. Okay, I think we only have three skeins of the Guns N' Roses left. But um, we have a huge spin cycle. Okay, so this pattern is from Andrea Mowry. Okay, so it's the metamorphic sweater. Um, we have a huge um, order placed in the queue for spin cycle. But our spin cycle wall is really low because when my unicorn comes, it's just gonna go up there. 
Yeah. You know, I'm pretty tapped out even in my house. Just want you to know. Yeah. So we have 360 skeins of 358 something of the unicorn. And then they messaged me that there was an, a happy accident with mine and wallflower on the spinners. Do you want it? Well, who else is going to take it? It's yours. So um, we're going to put yarn. some out for the yarn crawl and then we're going to put some away. So there, I think there was like 69 skeins. So you can only come here and get it. We're not going to take any phone calls that week mm -hmm. for classes, for anything. So if you're in the area or you want to come for the, you know, I mean, it's a week long. So you can come at any time and stay over. I'm mean, not at my house though. Um, you could stay over at one of, you know, the Hilton Garden or some, you know, and yeah. if you want to come with your friends, because there's 20 stores mm -hmm. so and it is fun. a week long. So um, that's that. Okay. What else do we have going on? Um, oh. We have virtual classes coming mm -hmm. up too. Right. Okay. I need to get my hands on some of that happy accident spin cycle. Vivian said, yeah. Guess, oh, there's that our friend Vivian. She lives up It just north. says Vivian, oh, but maybe that's know. her. All right, Viv, you're going to have to come the first She day. does love unicorns, so uh -huh. it's probably her. Right, because she made the ghost horse in unicorn, if I, that's Vivian. I think she said she's coming the first day. Mm -hmm. And the moon whistle in unicorn, which mm -hmm. was in the newsletter today. Right, that would yes. be cool. Mm -hmm. So... Um, what well, speaking of Andrea Mowry with your sweater, we right. got a newsletter from her this today, morning. and there was a the very pattern. exciting pattern called Wildwood, right. uh, and Karen put up some kits today of um, some yarn that you could use for that, using our Ching Fiber Cashmere Pure. And Karen and went to go get the picture so she could yeah. show what it looks like, yeah. and it's a three-color shawl with... A beautiful arch shape. Okay. So it is beautiful. I sold one this morning already. And this is 100% cashmere, 220 yards. It's nice. It's so, so nice. And that's why the hair strip was treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. <laughs> so um, we have a bunch of that. Um, this is beautiful. It is really. It's really is this recycled? nice yarn. No, no, it's just no. cashmere. It's just cashmere. Ethically sourced and substantially mm -hmm. produced. Mm -hmm. It's called Souffle Pure by Ching. So we put up like like two kits. I sold one. We have other colors here if you want to make that shawl. And then there's a third of you that you're holding, the rust with right. the blue. I'm that one is nice. I'm pull that up, right? I just pulled, I didn't pull all the, there's another one on the table of yeah. that, but that's okay. That's a nice one. Yeah, isn't this pretty? That but you could just play show. with these because Absolutely. I'm looking, look, right? Mm -hmm. Here's that soft pink. That right? would be a great this one. This is pretty too. Yeah, this yarn is really nice. So pretty. So we have that on the shelf and um, one of our customers called and she bought one, mm -hmm. which is so pretty. And then we have, what other kits do we have up today? We have, uh, we have the plus shawl kits. Because mm -hmm. that came out today. Yeah. So again, if you want to make this. Give us a cycle. call. We can help you put it together. Mm -hmm. Except no unicorn, guys. So you're going to have to go with the other colors that we posted. Okay, so that's a whip I have. And then there was another kit today, that mm -hmm. nice top in the yep, merino the linen. linen. I'm going to get that. And we have all different beautiful colors of Moondrake merino linen in stock. So these are... These are called Electric Pink Candy. It's Merino Linen Twist, 410 yards. And it has a really silky feel to it, even though it's just 14% linen, but it gives it a nice drape. Trelawney. Trelawney it, top. In my head, it was Trelawney. Mm -hmm. And this is by Tammy Gore. So pretty. So I pulled up, of course you know me, I pulled up the pink. And then I did this peach. Like you were holding, but look, I put the taupe with it. Oh, yeah. So here's a pink one. And it's a great little summer tea, right? And all you need is the four skeins to make, you know, if you want it oversized. If not, maybe you only need two. We would check and see what size you need to make. Yeah. But this is gorgeous merino linen and all these gorgeous spring colors we have in stock. <laughs> And, um, and the pattern calls for merino linen, so mm -hmm. it's going to have the same drape as right. how it looks in the picture. Mm -hmm. So these are great. Yeah, you could wear this with linen pants in mm -hmm. the summer or over I a beautiful dress. I love this color. Dress. Isn't this color beautiful? It's really Electric beautiful. Electric pink candy. 
I would want so. a whole top out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Yeah. For uh, the summer. Do you have anything? What do you have? So And then I go brought some Merino Sport over too because we mm -hmm. haven't really showed that in a while. Oh, this is my so favorite pretty. one, Fairy Tale. Look at that. And then you brought this peachy color. Yeah. Is this the DK? No, this is the Sport. Oh, Sport. Mm -hmm. So just give us a call. Um, people that signed up for the carry cardigan class, on Thursday we'll have a huge delivery of Moon Drake. And I'll run it down here Friday. So if you signed up for the carry cardigan class and you didn't get your yarn, there'll be new colors. There'll be some darker colors. There'll be some blues, some darker colors. Chocolate brown, which looks amazing with like the peach and the pinks. So we'll have more of a selection for you so you could shop shop it on Friday. We'll just keep posting them yeah. so you can get them for your class. Um, so the carry cardigan is not sold out. I think we have about seven or eight people in that class good and also the attune shawl class by andrea maori that one is coming up these are zoom classes that you could mm -hmm. take from anywhere in the world right and we have those posted always on our instagram as well as the me serena class is mm -hmm. coming up with debbie right so we have that yep. um if anybody has any questions before we show some whips whips show some karen whips. brought all of her whips i brought okay so this not really is all your whips like you know you have more, I don't know right? if I have more. <laughs> don't you have some Well, more? I think I once started. What's the steaking cardigan? Andrea's the, um, the... Oh, Sparky? Spark. Spark. Spark? I started that. I have a sleeve. Oh, I think I you have... That. I feel like you have more whips. I don't know. You rip them out, though. I don't think woo I rip them out. Woohoo whips. Misa Martin said woohoo whips. Okay, so here's one whip because I asked to start this later because I thought she was coming anyway you know she was coming and yeah she was looking for testers but I was three weeks to the wind that's okay so yeah she said of course you can knit this so I think maybe I'll have it done by the time she gets there good <laughs> oh that's a great idea yeah, yeah. so like why not by, it'll be oh, a great for sure. store by sample May, you'll yeah. have it yeah great store sample yeah so I have that okay what else do I have talk about whips let me tell you <laughs> satellite shawl Okay. By Andrea Mowry. By Andrea Mowry, which is a great pattern with brioche in it. And um, Moondrake is making kits for us for the yarn crawl. Yay! She's so going to bring them she with died her? All the no, they're half oh. this stuff is coming. Don't even ask what, how many boxes I'm getting on Thursday. <laughs> Between Spin Cycle Unicorn and Happy Accident. And then Moondrake, some of the stuff for the yarn crawl is coming. And Olga is sending her shawl samples to your house, too, for the meet and greet. So that's going to So I have a lot too. of stuff. So this is, um, on this one, I had the Helix by, um, I got my kit at um, Vogue 2020. Oh, yeah. So, but mine is a pink kit. Okay, so I started this. You ready? Let's see. Don't faint, because look, look. And Nancy's making it, too, I saw. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> yeah, almost done. <laughs> if it's for Barbie, it's almost yeah. done. So I'm just going to show you some of my colors. Look. Oh, wow. This is... So that's Surrey. So we're going to have Surrey. We're going to have these kits cool. that you could make this shawl. And um, this is the Helix. But the Helix is so thin like lace yeah. that um, we're going to have, you could just use regular fingering. Because you're doubling it anyway, right? Right, but yeah. you won't have to because our kits will just have regular fingering. Right. That's all you need is like 710 yards total without doubling it. So, um, yeah, I'm, re I'm pretty far, aren't I? Almost there. Mm -hmm. That's a whip. <laughs> okay. I'm also <laughs> testing. Where's that one? What happened to my other bag? Am I missing it? I'm just looking. Looking, I'm missing a bag. It was a small bag. Here it is, got it. Just me. Okay, I'm also testing. Everybody saw Car Carolyn doing the butterfly sweater. Knit Fosophy. Don't ask, I'm never going to finish this. Here's my butterfly sweater. Are you ready? Wow. It's so soft. So this is the Moon Drake. See my butterfly. Wow, they're so, so this cute. is feel this. This is the Moondrake MCN, oh which goodness. is coming in the box for you to do your your satellite shawl in. This is dreamy. Yeah, oh you have my to do goodness. the satellite shawl in it now. Yeah, that's a great idea because mm -hmm. that'll make it so soft with right. the Surrey. That's with the crazy Surrey, soft. it's crazy. So, um, there's mine. So Still. fun. Yeah, sure. I'm never gonna be done. Um, was that it? Your, oh, your, your shawl. You ready? <laughs> I already got the, the fashion show. Are you ready? This is my favorite. I know, though. Look. Oh, there's the top of my iPad I've been looking for. 
<laughs> okay. Um, wait, I'm like, what was that? So fun. Night shift. Night shift in DK. In sport. Yeah. So the night shift in, somebody said something, I don't know. Good morning, ladies. How many stitches to the inch on the merino linen, and do you have what's called light DK? I want to call and buy some. Okay. The merino linen is a fingering weight yarn, so um, you could do it at six stitches to the inch or Probably even seven stitches to the inch. Right, if you just look up for merino linen yeah, patterns. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. depends on the your drape gauge. that you want and your right. gauge. Uh huh. Because, for example, some people are using it for the Kaiser tee. That's four and a half stitches to the end. Right, last But week. if you want it to uh -huh. be drapey and loose right. and open and summery, it could be like that. Mm -hmm. Or you could knit it tight and have it be six, six and a half stitches to the end. Right, because she doesn't have it on here. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. fingering weight, it can go... Either way, yeah. you just got to get gauge. But any fingering weight pattern, you can use a merino linen. Yeah. Just depends on the gauge and the pattern. Yeah. So this is just beautiful so soft and for as far as light dk yeah we do have light dk and then we also have some heavy sports which are kind of like light dk mm -hmm. so uh give us a call and we can virtual I shop I if you'd like this. I think it's I really pretty it i saw this like christmas oh yeah like i was just sitting and picking up all my one skeiners i like all but, the bright colors yeah you could just use six Right? Do you do guys this. have the pink variegated color that Carolyn is using as her butterflies and her butterfly sweater? No, it's all sold out. And that was... Um, we have something else, though. Circus Tonic. We have oh, other yeah. colors by Circus Tonic, but not that... You mean the pink of her butterfly? Yeah. Circus Tonic. We only had two skeins of that left. We have other pinks, We have though. others. So if you call and you and you want a virtual Face shop, time we with have, us. Yeah, we have other pinks that you mm -hmm. could use that are fun like that. Right. So from guess, other companies, too. Mm -hmm. Those are my whips. And I'm sticking to it. You don't have that many, really. Three. This is a manageable number of whips. Yeah. Four. Mm, four. I guess. Three, four. With yeah, your test knit. Yeah, test yeah. knit four. But that plus I, shawl is awesome. I can't put it down. So it's just, I mean, my unicorn color has so many colors in it. You know, it has about six or seven colors the way, you know, they dye it. Yeah. Some come out more the way they spin it. Some come out less hot or bright or purple or greener. Sometimes they're blue. Some last batch was blue. Yeah. So I never know what's going to be in there. And then it's like, oh, my God, look at the purple in there. Just look at the purple because what did I just find in here, right? That's what's fun about Spin Cycle is you get surprised as you're here. knitting. Okay, because I'm going to show you what I found. Sometimes you get the skein and you don't even know what's hiding inside. And then you'll find Ready? like hot pink in there. Look. Wow. See? I just found this in my night shift bag. It's a little tangled. A little tangled. No, because there's two skeins together. <laughs> oh, okay. I, look. <laughs> oh, I see. See? It's so purple. Because I save when I cut and pick out, I save. Somebody say something. Do you have the full range of Moondrake Merino linen colors? Yeah, we have a lot. We have the whole spring range. We have the spring range. Yeah, we, we don't some. have the darker colors. Right. But mm -hmm. if you want Merino linen, we have been pairing them with the darker colors from other brands mm -hmm. like Sugar Plum Circus and Wishbone that we also I'm have. I'm just holding like three colors right now. But if you go on our Instagram today and um, you look at the kits for mm -hmm. the sweater pattern that we showed, um, that has a lot of the colors that you could choose from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you knitting? Are you doing? Yeah, I'm just, well, I finished the test knit that I couldn't show really. Right, um, okay. I didn't sew the pockets yet, but I have to still like do uh, that and then mm -hmm. block it and then weave in the ends. Right. And I'm done. And okay. so now I picked up another whip. I guess I could grab it. I'm just going to show you whip. And we also are getting, we have them, but they're not for sale yet. April 15th is, is that the texture book? Contrast. The contrast book. Um, by Lina Magazine. It's good. And then the texture by Alex Bird. That comes out May 20th. So the books are in stock here, but they can't be released till the date of release. Yeah. So um, if you call the store and you want to pre-order, let us know. We can do that. So I've showed this here before, so I didn't even bring mm -hmm. it over. But this is what I'm working on. It's the autumn gold sweater. I'm using Machete Shop. Pretty. And it has a really cool detail Did you on make the one side. Already? This is the same one oh! I've been working on this whole time. Nancy Nancy's finished hers. Nancy's like made three, and I yeah. was like, oh. She finished hers lick lickety split, and mm -hmm. here I am still knitting it because right. my kids don't let me knit, and I'm busy. She's busy. <laughs> <laughs> she's got three kids. And then when they go to sleep, I think I'm going to watch Netflix and knit, and then I fall asleep. 
So that's my life. Right. Mine too. <laughs> my life's good, but it doesn't include a lot of knitting. <laughs> right. I don't know. It's a good thing I wasn't knitting when I had kids because I never would have been able to do it. Yeah, it's just, it's this sad. Is, yeah, I don't know, but you started much younger. So that's Yeah, so, so I got some knitting time in before having kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Well, that's, I used to needlepoint. Well, now Amanda's needlepointing. And my daughter's moving to London, so we're waiting for her visas and stuff and, and all that good stuff with Amazon. So I'll be taking her. So I don't know when. Is there any update on that? When? Mm -mm. She goes for her biometrics in next week or two weeks. I'm not really sure. Mm. And then you have to wait. So um, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to be there for the Queen's Jubilee, but to tell you the truth, I don't know if I'll get a flight. Or oh. a hotel. When is the Queen's Jubilee? Is it, in, is it the end of June, July? I don't July? know what that is. I have no idea. We'll have to, <laughs> isn't that 75 years of her reign? I think so. I guess. I don't know that much about the royalty in England. I know people are into it. I don't, I don't know. So she's moving to London and I'll be taking her. So may not come back. <laughs> You're going to go move to London? <laughs> Get a two-bedroom apartment. <laughs> Open up a satellite office. Do you knit? And <laughs> London. I'm uh -huh. tempted to open my own stores and there is only one or two stores in Albuquerque. My mm -hmm. friend just moved right outside of Albuquerque. She was living in Joshua Tree, California. Mm -hmm. And I think it got kind of touristy. And so she moved to, she just said she's Ooh. an hour outside of Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Wow. It looks beautiful there. It's exhausting being me. <laughs> yeah. My brain is like, woohoo, woohoo. Thank God I don't have Alzheimer's. Oh, I do. I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> Because my brain is just starting at 4.30 in the morning. Yes. I'm just like, okay, what, what's Only coming out? Only so much could fit in your brain at one time. So sometimes the less important just stuff like, just flies just out. Just flies out. Yeah, but, um, I hear that. Yeah. So that's it. If you have any more questions to ask us, then we'll, we'll sign off. The phone lines are open. You can call. You know, And if you want to talk to us, we'll do that too. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> but if you have any questions to ask, Feel free to ask them now. <laughs> yep. And this will go up, and then you can watch it anytime. Yep. And we'll post it again on Instagram. That you, We'll put the link in because yes. we could link that. Yeah, now we could link it. Yeah, it's so fun. And then I usually take a picture of us on the big 70-inch TV I love when that. I get home. And I'm like... <laughs> Uh -huh. And then, you know, it's fun. I love when people are watching us, like, on their TV or their iPad, and they put a picture of their knitting, and right. then there's, like, us in the uh, background. Like, thank like, you so much. So tag us. Please tag us. <laughs> we need a new hand tag. Hashtag Alana and Karen. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll start a new hashtag for us. <laughs> anyway, um, come here, Gail. We have to show Gail's sweater. She doesn't want to. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Gail's here. Are you ready? Come back here. Look at Gail's sweater. Let's see. Her GRA grade A and you used unicorn. Yep. There you Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Unicorn and this is the showstopper. Mm -hmm. This is the showstopper. So it matches my shawl. So if you want to make one of these, the class is going on, but we could definitely make you, except we don't have unicorn. Vivian says it's beautiful. Thank it you. It is beautiful. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Came today. out so yeah. good. So um, we got pictures of you. We got pictures of you for you to post because she said she lives with men. They're not interested in taking her the pictures, right? You got to see the pictures. Harriet says it's, love her sweater. Yeah, we'll take some pictures today. Yeah, we're going to take more and we'll post those up right now. So oh, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's Gail. She works here. You can talk to her too. We love Gail. We love Gail. Marion said all your sweaters are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Anyway, that's it, guys. We hope you have a great. It's Tuesday. Right? It is Tuesday. Taco so Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. But I don't think I'm making tacos for dinner. It's just I'm the two of us. Tacos. I don't I can't stand to cook. <gasps> I'm going out to the city for dinner. You're smart with with Danny, and then my friend just turned 40, so I'm taking her out and her husband. And my Where cousin just opened a tapas restaurant uh -huh. on uh, West 17th Street. It's like a cocktail tapas place, so we're going to wow. go check it out. How nice is that? Yeah, I got cool. a reservation, so I'm excited. I hope family, they gave you a well, reservation. I just went on open table. Like, I don't want to get special, you know. Like, I'll just go on uh -huh. open table, make right. the reservation. Uh -huh. and so I'm excited okay. to try well, it. That's good. I don't know. I think, I don't know what I'm making. It's called Benito NYC, little plug for my cousin's mm -hmm. restaurant. Yeah, plug it up there. <laughs> BenitoNYC.com. All right. Well, if you, have, if you don't have any other questions, anybody have any questions? You could see. I can't see. Harriet said, you didn't see my first question. I guess oh. not. Sometimes well, it pops up and disappears. Can you tell us what it was? Because yeah. it pops up and we're talking. You could just type it again. Yeah, if you type it again, we can answer you. We're sorry. 
because we were just busy talking and she could see <laughs> even with these these are readers i still can't see even this i feel like i'm starting to squint and trying to see <laughs> i think i'm gonna need some readers or glasses soon no i don't think you need them mm -hmm. not yet i guess harriet's not typing maybe she's typing it okay we'll give harriet another minute and then we'll see if she wants to ask oh how many skeins for the cross shawl oh okay plus. so the plus shawl if you're doing um, the spin cycle for the background, you're going to need four. And if you're doing a solid for your pluses, you're going to need, um, I think it's like 600 yards. So it could be three spin cycles or any sport. Like our sport here, you would just use two. Okay. So we, so we put kits up. So we did two and four, you know. Or if you want to play around and, you know, tell us wh which version, like mine, mm -hmm. you know, because then you'd only need three for your crosses, 600 yards, and then you would need um, four for your background. We so, have kits up today. Right. So you could take a look at those. What if you do both in solids? So you're just going to have to figure one color is 800 and the other one's 600. Mm -hmm. That's how you're going to do it. Okay, 800 and 600, and then decide which colors. If you want to do virtual shopping, then we'll help you. We'll tell you what you need exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's just say if you're using the sport, you're going to need three because these are 328 to be your 800 yards, which would take you over to 900. And then you would need two for your other color. She said good, thanks. Okay. And right. Debbie would like to know what you're using for the butterflies. Oh, so I'm using the new MCN that's coming from Moondrake. That's going to be here for the yarn crawl. It's a fingering. It's 383 yards. It's 80%, I think it's 85% merino. But for the butterflies. Oh, for the butterflies, I'm using a Vogue hedgehog color from two years ago. Oh. We don't have any more. <laughs> we have something similar. We have we other have stuff, some right. You could so use. that's my Vogue color from two years ago from 2020. And Carolyn just so happened to have it, and I didn't. Oh. So she gave him to me. Oh, so. okay. So just a multicolor fun color would be great. Like, if you see how junk she got all these multicolors, get one. Like, and that'll pop in for your butterflies. Yeah. Or you could do solid butterflies, semi-solid. It's fine, whatever. That pattern's coming out in May. I'm never going to be done. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and Vivian asked... Um, are we going? Are we going to be getting with the Lobby and Me trunk show the colors that Andrea used in her rose cardigan? I don't know. I don't know. They just do the picking of the colors for mm -hmm. me. So maybe something like it. Yeah. Least. I mean, we can make one for you. It's not going to be hard. Yeah. You know, we'll just figure out if you need four colors. And we'll do four colors. Mm -hmm. You know, faded or you know, we'll figure it out. What Angela else? said, where is your shop located? I'd like to take a road trip. 1100 South Avenue West, Westfield, New Jersey. Westfield, New Jersey. Westfield, New Jersey, center of the center of the state. Mm -hmm. So where do you live? Do you live nearby? Or? We're outside of New York City. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. Okay. All right. We're going to put this up. You can watch it at your leisure. And um, we're here to take your phone calls. Maybe we'll order lunch. That's great. Let's order lunch. <laughs> Definitely yeah. the highlight of any yarn road trip, totally. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You, Misa. But you should come for the yarn crawl if you plan on mm -hmm. coming. That'll be a super fun week. Absolutely. Raffles and all kinds of good stuff. Oh, Vermont. So. That's an easy road trip. That's great. It's like two hours? To I, don't, I, don't I don't know. know. It depends Three where hours? in Vermont. But yeah, you should come. <laughs> bye. Right, bye. Thanks, Thank guys, you. for watching us. Bye bye.